Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to convert an HTML string to PDF in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using a CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector. Now, to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow and type in a name for the flow. Then, we will select Manually Trigger a Flow and press Create. Now, we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type SharePoint get file content. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After we have created the file content actions, we will add a new action step by looking up the CloudMersive document conversion connector, which is the green icon here, and selecting convert HTML string to PDF. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the CloudMersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now for our input file, we can add the file content from the previous step and input the file name followed by .html. You can see that there's a field titled extra loading weight as well. This is optional, but allows you to specify the additional number of milliseconds to wait once the web page has finished loading to take the screenshot, which can be helpful for highly asynchronous websites. After this, we're going to add a create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file along with a .pdf extension and choose output content from the document conversion action. Once this information is filled out, we can click the save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, you can click the test button in the top right hand corner. We will choose the manual option for testing the file, hit the second test button, and then continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to all of the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all of the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now you can check your chosen folder for your newly created PDF file. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using CloudMersive connectors and Power Automate.